Let me start by asking you a quick question. If you have an e-commerce or an LMS site, what would happen if you had a big spike in traffic? For example, your course has just launched and you've notified everybody and they all land at the same time and your site can't cope. What would happen? Chances are it's going to go offline and the experience is going to be really poor for the end user and you could lose lots and lots of potential clients. This is where Cloudways Autonomous could really help you out. Now, this is a sponsored video by Cloudway, so no opinions are going to be expressed. I will just demonstrate how this works so you can make a more informed decision for yourself. So first of all, what exactly is Cloudways Autonomous and why would it help you? Well, traditional hosting, especially shared hosting, as your resources get used up, lots of people on your website, things don't necessarily scale. Something like Cloudways Autonomous will help you do that automatically in the background. So as you get a spike in traffic, your website will scale automatically behind the scenes. You don't have to do anything at all. And then once that traffic starts to die down, the resources being allocated to your website will shrink back down again without any interaction from you. So you have peace of mind no matter what time of day it is, wherever you are in the world, if you have surges in traffic, they'll all be handled using Cloudways Autonomous. So Cloudways Autonomous is harnessing the power of Kubernetes. You don't need to worry too much about understanding the complexities of this technology, but just knowing that this handles all of the sit to scaling behind the scenes for you, so you don't have to delve into handling all of this and scaling things up when you need to and then scaling them back down and worrying about, you, you kind of get the idea. This is gonna handle it all for you seamlessly in the background. And you're probably thinking, well, that's going to come at a cost or it's going to be quite complicated to set everything up. And the reality is it couldn't be further from the truth. So first of all, let's take a quick look at the pricing and then we'll take a look at how easy it is to get started using Cloudways Autonomous. So pricing starts at $35 per month for one application, but take a look in the description down below because there's a discount code to help you save a little bit of money there. So what exactly do these plans mean and why does it have an effect on you? Well, to kind of cover it off very, very quickly, this is all totally scalable hosting. Your $35 per month plan has one application and an application is basically just a website. Then you've got 15 gigabytes of disk space, 30,000 visits per month, and 100 gigabytes of bandwidth. But this is your starting point. Because this is a flexible plan and things need to grow and scale, so you get peace of mind knowing that you'll only be charged at those peak points and everything is charged at an hourly rate, not every single month at a flat rate. So you get flexibility when it comes to knowing how much you're going to pay. So what exactly are those overage charges when you go over any of your plan allowances? Well, for every 1,000 additional visits, it's going to cost you a dollar. For every 10 gigabytes of bandwidth, another dollar. And for disk space, it's $2 per gigabyte. So you can see it's not expensive whichever way you want to scale it. So the starter plan, like I say, gives us one application and the allowances. When you jump up to plan two, you get three applications, six applications on plan three, and so on. So you can see these all scale up as and when you need them to. So see the pricing, we've seen the overage charges, and we've got an explanation of basically what goes on with Cloudways Autonomous. Now let's go and set this up. So I've already got a Cloudways account. I have no autonomous plans on it. So all you need to do is create an account if you don't already have one. And you'll see inside your control panel, you've got this new autonomous apps section. We'll click on get started. And then we're gonna go through what probably is one of the simplest setup routines you've ever seen in your life when it comes to hosting. So any complexities you may think are here, you can kind of basically forget all about it. It is incredibly simple to set up. First thing we're gonna do is choose our plan. We're gonna start off with the $35 per month plan. We'll say get started. So you can see this is the plan we're choosing. It tells us again what we've seen, the pricing structure, the applications and so on, and any of the overage charges. If you wanna change a plan, hit that option to go back, but we'll confirm our plan. That's then going to go and allow us to choose what kind of website we want to spin up. So we can choose a WordPress website or we can choose a WooCommerce website. If you choose WordPress, you can still install whatever you want afterwards. So if you want to add WooCommerce or whatever LMS platform you want to use, simply choose WordPress at this point. Or if you just want to install WooCommerce on WordPress, hit the WooCommerce option. For example, we'll click on WordPress. We'll give this a title for the application. 
Then we can choose from four different regions for our primary location. I'm in London, so I'm going to choose that option from there. But just know that you still have full control with the CDN to make sure that your site is blazingly fast wherever you are in the world. And we'll take a look at that once everything is set up. So with those three simple options already selected, we'll click Add Application. And that's going to go through the process of adding the application into my account under the autonomous section. Now, this is going to take a few minutes to go through. And once that's finished, we'll come back and take a look at the options that are now available to us. So after a few moments, we've got our application added in and we've got a basic overview of our application, the name of it, the date it was created, the location, the temporary domain at this point in time. When we update it to a live domain, that will be reflected here. Then we can see the basic overview of our disk usage, visit and bandwidth. And obviously, if we see any spikes here, that will fluctuate over our allowance and we can keep track of everything. So let's click on this and that will take us in now to the overview of everything we have to control for our website. And as you can see, well, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So like I said, there's nothing really complex inside you. Even if you're not used to setting things up when it comes to building websites and handling hosting, there really is no rocket science involved here. So let's take a breakdown of what we have. At the top, we've got four key areas, our overview, performance, workflow, tools, and intelligence. We also have some additional options for our credentials and manage access, and we'll take a look at those in a moment. Quick settings, we can see our SSH or SFTP details, our domain management and our database access. So once you're ready to push this over to a proper live domain, not the temporary domain, you can click on here, drop in your domain details, add that. It'll give you the necessary DNS information you need. Add that over, give it a moment, and your site should then be live on that domain. You'll also notice that once you add a domain, you now will get six additional features. So CDN, WAF for Enhanced Security, DDoS Protection, Mobile Optimization, Full Page Cache, and Image Optimization. All these are part of this once your domain is added in. So that's pretty cool. Your database, it gives you all your credentials for that, and also your SSH and SFPP. Again, all your login information there if you want to access things this way. Let's go back to our overview. Again, this will show us the information about our site, the PHP version it's running. If we want to create a staging environment, we can do that directly inside you. It's very quick and easy. So when you want to make changes to the live site, and you want to test things out, you can create a staging site in a matter of minutes, and you can test things out without affecting your live site. And then you can choose to push or pull the information between the staging and the live sites. So that's pretty cool, and it's great to see this is included, so no additional third-party plugins required to handle staging. And then we've got a more detailed breakdown of those resources for our visits, disk space, and so on. So pretty simple and self-explanatory. Hopping into performance, this will show us the two different things that we currently have available. We've got Object Cache Pro enabled. Now, this is normally a paid-for service that can kind of come in around about $100 per month, but it's included with this. So that's pretty cool to see that you've got this directly integrated into your account. You'll also see that we've got CDN through Cloudflare. So this gives us security to your website, so it'll enhance the DDoS protection and so on, as well as the CDN to make sure that your site is delivered incredibly fast no matter where anybody else is in the world. Pretty cool. That's really all there is under performance, but those two things make a big difference to your site. Your workflow and tools, this is primarily where you can handle your backups and restoration, PHP settings, and you'll see you've got your staging environment inside here as well. So backup and restore, pretty simple and self-explanatory. We can take a manual back backup if we want to at this point, and we can restore from any of the backups should we need them. Your PHP settings, well, if you want to and you're comfortable, you can set what PHP version is being run. So going back to 7.4, and you can adjust any of the settings like the memory limit, the timeout times, and all those kinds of things. Finally, your staging management. This is where you'll handle any of the staging sites that you create for any of your autonomous applications. Again, we can launch the staging application and handle that aspect. Pretty simple. Intelligence, this is where it's going to give you access to your logs so you can see any errors, any access logs and so on. And as you start to get traffic through, you'll be able to see traffic analysis and your caching analysis that's tied in to that Cloudflare. Pretty cool, pretty simple and pretty self-explanatory. You manage access, as we've already seen, is for your SF, SFTP and SSH, easy for me to say. And your credentials allow you to log into your WordPress website so you can start building things out. Really isn't much else to it. It's that simple. It's all handled in the background for you. So when you see those spikes, you don't have to come in here and manually do this. 
So let's go and jump and take a look at the actual website itself. So accessing the back end of our site, you can see there's a couple of plugins installed. And other than that, we've got a blank starter point site. We can start building our learning management system, our WooCommerce store, whatever it is we want to build using Cloudways Autonomous. Now you're probably thinking, is it actually any good though, Paul? Well, like I said, I'm not gonna give you an opinion in this particular video, but what I will suggest you do is take a look at this article by SitePoint that breaks down the technology, the reasoning behind how it works and why it works the way it does, but also does a comparison against Kinsta and WP Engine with a range of different tests in WooCommerce to give you a good idea of how it compares to those technologies in those very popular hosting platforms. It'll give you a bit of an eye opener and a breakdown. So I'll link that in the description down below so you can check that out for yourself. So you've seen the technology, we've seen how easy it is to set it up, and we've seen the pricing, and I've also given you information about how you can find out how this compares to very popular other platforms out there. All the applicable links are in the description down below. If you want to check out my other videos covering Cloudways, you can check the playlist out right here.